Hey everyone, I'm going to do a video here on the um, antenna mod I've done to the Mobula 7. I've had a request from a few people and um, Hillbilly FPV and uh, so I'm going to do um, a little bit better covering how I did the ground side of the antenna mod to, run, to make the VTX run cooler and have better signal. Now, this is a piece of coax that I've replicated how the antenna is coming out of the Mobula 7. Alright, it's ex exactly just like this right here coming up out of the Mobula 7. Um, this actually looks to be a little bit bigger in diameter. Let me see if I've got a piece yeah, here we go. Here now is a piece that's the exact diameter. So let me use let me use Oh, I got too much mess. Let me use this. Okay, this is how it'll come up out of the Mobula 7. Just like this. Here is your vertical radiator coming out now right here this has already been cut off a little bit because this is actually one i stole the shield off of your coating will come all the way up to the end so what you got to do is take a razor blade and just about the much as i got right here about a sixteenth you just barely trim the rubber coating off without cutting any of the shield wires be really careful and trim it off to where you have about a sixteenth of that exposed right here of just the shield wires all right the next thing you're going to want to do is measure the radiator now this one's going to be too short now me see how short this is me um, 5658 is exactly a half inch so this was this one's gonna be too short. This is for uh, higher up in the band, um, but this is just gonna be a demonstration showing you how to do it. But the main thing, you want to see where you're operating at in the band, and then trim this radiator with a pair of tweezers, cut it off to be exactly just down to where this shield starts. That's your active element where the shield stops. This is your active element radiating right here. Everybody's got a bunch of these laying around these old cheap 5.8 gig antennas What you want to do you'll see a seam right here. So just grab it right here and Sort of bend it like you're going to break it and it'll loosen it up And it'll pop right off Okay, now see this radio uh, shield radiator right here this is soldered just a little bit right here at the top. Now what you want to do is take your soldering gun, heat this up a little bit. Let me get my pliers here. Hard to, hard to do holding a okay just pry a little bit and this shield will come off this is still hot this will come off see the hole in the center cool it down here where I can handle it once it's off it'll be look just like this right here what you want to do after you've trimmed about a sixteenth of that off, slide this down through and be real careful right here. It'll be a tight fit. Pull it down to where you can barely see the shield um, sticking through here. Now you'll be able to get some sorter on the shield and this end piece. So now what you want to do is just lay this down. I need uh, some of those helping hands. It's 
a little bit different doing this on video. This is going to be a lot easier for y'all because the antenna is going to be mounted on the quad and you won't have to fight with it like this. It'll hold it straight up on the quad and you just slip it right down over it and it'll hold it in place. See, we got, see how one side just soldered right to it? Roll it over. Do a little bit on the other side. You can't hold it too long or you'll damage the um, center radiator. There we go, it looks good. Now what you have here is an actual vertical dipole with the radiated shield and the vertical. I'm a ham operator and this is how um, the same principles how I build bigger antennas for the uh, HF band. So antennas work on two legs if you try to uh, just say like the cb band um just 11 megahertz if you figure 468 divided by the frequency which will give you a half wave dipole that is just the length of one radiator you have to have a shield and a hot if you try operating a cb with just the vertical radiator sticking up without a shield side you've got really high standing waves and a very poor radiative pattern this is more of a beautiful pattern a, be a better lobe that's why these antennas has this on it is because they radiate a lot better of a pattern so that's why i wanted to adapt and do that to the mobula 7. And then after I got this on here, I just took some shrink tape and put it over it just to make it tough, you know. But um, there it is. Um, you don't have to undo the coax from down in here off of the board or anything. All you're required to do is just barely cut off a little bit of the jacket, slide this over it, and you're done. And um, way better of a, of a radiated pattern. There you go, Hillbilly FPV. Hope I covered a little bit better. And for anybody else out there, um, hope these mods helped them. Um, I have recently made another mod um, since then. The Power Wars was coming out really long and coming down here really long and over to the side. Um, I kept the factory small wire harness, but I cut about half of it off and let the power wars come straight up here to where it's coming off the tail end like this so i got rid of half of the wire lamp that was being fed and now my batteries plugs in really good um, when i took the batteries in here this goes tucks right in off the back so i've got um uh, it got the um this out of the way of the prop holes and um it added just a little bit more power back because i reduced that power harness lead and then i took me a, a zip tie smallest zip tie you can possibly find and go through the holes right here i wish i had a black one you'd never even see it um but i put a zip tie through there so when i'm pulling on this i can't pull the power wars out of the board because I have ejected batteries on this wrecking really bad. So um, this protects that and protects your board from this ever ripping off of the board and the harness. There you go. Hope this uh, helped you guys. And uh, take care. Uh, any more mods I do. I did route my antenna up towards the front. And I have a zip tie around it. Protecting the uh, antenna from being pulled out of the board. <coughs> so uh, the range is the same i didn't get any additional range it's just uh, protecting it a little bit tougher for crashes and i took a small piece of two-sided tape and taped um, stuck this down because i find myself kept losing that and it dropping out so uh, 
I took some two-sided tape and stuck it down so it's always in there. Take care. Hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, till next time, until I can come up with something else cool, I'll um, post it and share it to you guys. Really love the Turner G controller. Um, let me make a two-part series here. Um, this Turner G, uh, I love this thing. Um, it's got telemetry. I've got it hooked to uh, those quads up there. I'm flying all those quads now off of the Turner G with telemetry. I've even got it hooked up to Sims. So uh, I took some two-sided uh, Velcro here. I stick my phone to it. Lord, look how dirty my phone is. Let me show you guys how easy of a um, simulator you have. I plug this harness in. I pull up free rider. And I'm practicing with the same controller that I'm flying with. See this? I love it. Um, so what time I'm spending in the Sims now, I feel I'm uh, actually getting benefit from, you know, because my, my simulator I have set up awfully close. I've spent a lot of time setting the simulator up to where it reacts the same as my quad does. Roll rates and all that. So take the time and match your simulator to the quad you're flying and then what time you spend in the sims will uh